Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp where we are trying to understand the fundamental concepts of software testing. And we are in chapter three talking about the test types and the test levels where we are exploring more about deep dive into the levels of testing. And uh, we are still continuing with the first segment that is 3.1 functional test levels. And this tutorial is the continuation of our discussion on integration testing where we'll be talking about component integration testing and system integration testing today. Well, to talk about more details, of course, these are also considered as the sub levels of integration testing, where we say component integration testing and the system integration testing. Let's understand a little more detail, though it might not be crucial for every single project, but it is important if you come across them. You should understand that how exactly these levels are defined, executed, and tracked when it comes to the real-time project. So to a certain extent, some instances, some applications, some projects may invite you to perform CIT, which means component integration testing. Now we have understood what is component testing, which is to test each and every functionality or feature of a particular module or a particular component or unit testing, right? Now, we also understood in our previous session that what is integration testing? It is the interfaces between two or more modules or the two different pages of an application. Now, the point is to deeper dive that does that really have any kind of interaction between the components within a particular module? Now, for an example, the snapshot which I have here is pretty much talking about that. And here we are saying that Look at this example. When you want to select a city by the state and the state by the country, today any application follows this protocol to avoid human errors, right? Having typos being entered into a text field, we are improvising it to the next level and saying that, hey, first you need to select a country. And if you select a country, the state list will get filtered according to the country selected, right? Now there is some kind of interface built between these two components where country is trying to redirect the state field that, hey, I have the value, say for example, India, and you should only show the states or provinces of India alone. Similarly, if I go back and change my country to any other places, then it would switch into the cities or the states of that particular country. Similarly, if I proceed selecting the state accordingly, I would have the list of cities further filtered by the state selected. Now, the most important point to understand is this is within a single page or single module where multiple components are trying to interact with each other. Now, this is where we understand that component integration can also happen subjected your application is talking about it. That's the reason it is not well known level of testing. The reason is not all the applications support this. And this is just one of the typical example. If you think there is anything else, you can certainly go ahead and use this particular level to perform the necessary test, right? So component integration testing is all about to test the interfaces between the component, but within a particular module. It's not between two or more modules, which would make a difference. The second part is the system integration testing, which is equivalently same, but here we are talking about interfaces between different systems. Now, at the same time, we also say that SIT, which is system integration testing, can be performed before or and after system testing. That means system testing is the testing of whole system which you are trying to build, what you were you know, asked to build. But system integration can happen before that, or it can happen after that, or maybe both. Now, what's the context? Let's do a quick deep dive to understand SIT. What's the significance of it? Number one thing, I'm talking about ATM machine, which is automated teller machine where you go and withdraw money. Now, ATM, given that ATM software is a system, right? The final product which you are trying to build. Now that's huge. We have different transactions possible in an ATM machine, including you withdraw money, you can have a balance in query, 
you can have the you know mini statement you can do the change of your pin and you can do transfer etc you can define your limit of withdrawal and you can do certain other activities right now each one of these can be considered as an independent system and i can perform sit before i go to system testing where i take each transaction as one system and test it thoroughly and then i integrate two of them and see how does they behave for example i just put two transaction on my atm software that is withdrawal and pin change and i see that what if after withdrawing money a person wants to change the pin and he is able to do that now the point is if i put these two systems together can they work as a single unit as a single system now that's what is system integration in this case where we say it is before system testing where you break a particular system into multiple subsystems and try to you know in the integrate it step by step now next thing after doing withdrawal and pin change you add another transaction like balance in query and then you try to test all three together and call it out as sit this is what it means if it is done before system testing but after system testing it means that your system is one of the system of the end product for example you're making automobile right and a, a car and this car has so many products which are developed by different people or i can say that so many systems which are developed by different vendors for example tires are not made by mercedes headlamps are never made by bmw right they get it from somebody else the seats are built by another company who are expert in that the windshields all the glass in your car is built by another company like saint gobain who, who are expert in that right only the engine is the main thing which is built by the company right and that's their system so when we talk about system integration after system testing it means that your system is one of the system for the end product and then for example i have three companies a b c developing different systems they will do system testing of their own product or own system what they are asked to build then a b c will join together to do system integration a very simple layman level example here it is here is talking about elevator as an embedded system the sensors the software part of the elevator is built by another company and hardware which is the body of the elevator is built by another company now both of them will do system testing of their own product which they are making like they will team a will or company a will test the sensors whether they are working fine or not and they will call it out as system testing right because that's their system final system and same way the hardware industry will make sure that the compartment dimensions and etc are exactly as per the space and the door functions appropriately buttons are visible pressable and all that they will call it out as system testing for their body casing and now they will all join together they both will join together to call it as an elevator and this will be referred to as system integration testing now after system testing when sit is performed it is it can be between software and software it can be between software and hardware or it can be between hardware and hardware so software and software example could be a e-commerce website with a payment gateway is a sit right a e-commerce website never has a payment option they only have cash on delivery so they get the code from a kind of cots commercial off the shelf like paypal visa master mx they give the code to integrate their product to the e-commerce website so software software integration software hardware is the elevator example in the elevator you integrate the software with the hardware and hardware hardware could be your amusement park right hydraulics and pneumatics where you can integrate two hardware components or systems together to call it as an end product so system integration testing is very crucial more important than cid cid could be optional in many cases but sit is not at all optional but it's just decided that will you do sit before system testing or after testing sometime it happens both if you are building a very crazy product very big one then you may perform sit internally before doing system testing and then when you hand it over to the owner they will perform sit again but between different systems so here we define it as it is interfaces between the systems right 
I hope that makes sense and that gives you a very clear picture of what's the difference between CIT, that is Component Integration Testing, and SIT, System Integration Testing. Should So we will be looking forward to understand such levels in more detail in upcoming tutorials. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.